Hello, hello. Hi, guys, and welcome back to Dream Queen. Um, thank you, everybody, for the messages, emails, and things in regards to my grandmother. I will be heading over um, to town either today or tomorrow. Um, I haven't decided yet, but we'll be there till the end. Um, any questions as to what it is that what I do, how I do it, um, services I provide, um, donations, anything like that, down below on the description. Now we're going to go ahead and jump in and get started. I'm probably going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did with the other videos. Um, kind of just go with the flow. Um, Water is going to be there for reference, but I, it will not be used as the main read today. So I honestly do believe and hope that everybody that gets to see this resonates with it. Um, the song that we got for cancer, if I didn't say that's what we're going to do, it is cancer. It is <laughs> Drink You Away by Justin Timberlake. And it's like, I can't drink you away. I've tried Jack. I've tried Jim. I've tried all of their friends. And this is not necessarily um, the person is drinking themselves away, even though in some cases it may be. Um, <laughs> So again, if you're a cancer, if your person is a cancer, this is more of an energy of a person that um, has been trying everything and anything to try to get somebody out of their mind, to try to um, get somebody out of their heart. So whether it is that they're actually drinking and partying, um, whether it is that they have gone from one relationship to the next, whether it is that they're just free, flow, like free flowing with um, having one night stand after one night stand, is like regardless of what it is that they're choosing to do to keep themselves distracted, to keep themselves from thinking of you, from keeping themselves from reaching out to you, from keeping themselves from coming towards you, um, has not been working. And now they are at that point where it's like, okay, it doesn't really matter what I do, how I do it, um, it's just not gonna go away. So it's like, what are you doing now? You know what I'm saying? Like, I've tried everything. I've tried to stay distracted with work. I've tried to stay distracted with family. I've tried to stay distracted in whatever relationship I'm currently in or whoever the heck I'm entertaining. Because I feel like it's more of an entertainment than an actual relationship, regardless of how it seems to the world outside. And it's like, okay. Okay. And then they have those moments of where they accept it and they want to move forward and fear kicks in. So it's like, okay okay and then they go ahead and repeat the same thing so it is like they'll take a couple of minutes they'll gather their breath they'll gather their thoughts they come up with a game plan to move forward and then they get easily distracted by the drink the drink can be anything else so it grasps their their attention for like a second and they go towards that thing, right? But the minute they get to that thing, whatever it is, whether it's work, whether it's another person, whether it's an actual drink, um, gambling, whatever it is, they'll enjoy it for like a couple of minutes. And then it's like, whoosh, you come rushing back in because the, the connection between the two of you is just that strong. It's a matter of thinking strategically strategic strate esa palabra you know that word of how <clears throat> how to communicate um how badly they've tried to get over you how badly they tried to stop thinking of you and how badly they failed at it How are you gonna receive it? It's like, and I feel like this comes more for the people that have been sleeping around or have been jumping from one relationship to the next because they've been trying to, to drown their soul that is asking for something more meaningful than sex, something more meaningful than this casual F fucking, basically. Um, those in that position are wondering if you're going to accept them because they feel extremely used. They feel dirty, unclean. Can you see past that, basically? 
And I mean, this can be whether the person is a female or a male. It doesn't really matter. The, the rest of them that have been, um, let's say, drinking or any other addictions um, to meds or drugs or gambling or whatever it is, is, I guess, if you're going to accept that part of the flaw in them. Even though I don't think that that is something that is going to stay very long once this connection is um, reunited. The rest that have been distracted with um, other things like hobbies and works and things like that is more of expressing to you that the way that they emerge themselves into work, the way that they emerge themselves into hobbies or traveling or whatever it may be, it was more of a distraction. It does not mean that they don't have time for you because we make time for things that we choose to be a priority. I know I keep on blinking. My eyes feel very dry. Um, so it is about um, just, I guess, how to put things into words that you, the other person, whoever it is, whether you're the cantor or the other person, um, can receive the information that is given to you without being judgmental because i feel like yeah there's a very there's a huge fear of not wanting to be judged not wanting to be reprimanded for their actions because they're choosing to leave that in the past they're choosing to leave that behind so i guess it really depends on how when they start when they decide to start um communication like 3D communication anyways, um, it is going to be a lot of testing the waters to see where the other person is, um, how the other person is receiving things. And then from there, it is really going to, um, it is going to decide how they're going to move forward or if they're going to move forward. So for those of you, whether you are a cancer or your person is a cancer and <clears throat> you're the person that they're going to be reaching out to. Just make sure that when this person reaches out, you're not reacting, but you're responding and that you're actually taking the time to take in the information and to um, allow yourself to feel um, whatever it is that wants to be felt, um, heal whatever needs to be healed before you just go ahead and, you know, respond to whatever it is that they're asking, whether they're asking just to really talk to you as a friend for now or they're asking to actually see you just be make sure that you within yourself and your alignment are pretty um balanced so that you can receive whatever information that it is that is coming through because they do not want to be rejected they do not want to feel like um like they have gone down the rabbit hole that badly that they've lost you, whoever you are, um, completely. It's like knowing that the love, the love has always been there. It is more of a matter of the... So... <laughs> You know, sometimes people, when when they first feel a certain t that type of connection, that type of love, that type of unconditional love, it is very scary in a sense because that is the type of love you're supposed to receive from everyone. But a lot of people, one, have never experienced it, not even from their parents, not even from their mother or their father. And those that have um, experienced it, from like a mother or a father and let's say the parents have passed ever since then they have never experienced it again and everyone else that they have tried to love whether friends or exes or whatever have never loved them unconditionally so the type of love that you bring to the table it is scary and it's more of a sense of like can I match up to that can I because I know what I feel but <clears throat> can I like can can they receive my love the way that I love, whatever that is? Um, some express it more through um, how 
how can I put it like I what is that word I'm trying to get out um caregivers care take like caretakers like taking care of like um maybe like financially like supported and stuff like that so it's about wanting to like take you out wanting to um spoil the other person and it's like once the person receives the that caregiver um love that they give then they can verbally express the feelings because we all have to understand that we all express love in different ways so personally myself i i have many different ways and it really depends on the type of connection that i make with people and what i feel the person needs so i can um and i've gotten better at sensing what people need there are people that need that i feel that um need to feel that like motherly love so i ha i can meet a person and show up with like cookies or like baked goods or cooked meal or whatever it is and they'll be like oh my god how did you know and i'm just like i, I just know um there are people that need the the person to listen to them um and to spend there are people that need that person that's gonna like come in and you know talk to you straight up like uh no get the fuck off your shed and get up and you know let's go let's do this so we as as humans in, in this world we need to understand that not everybody it's not that everybody's not capable it's not, not everybody knows or has learned how to express love verbally and sometimes it takes them time to get there for the simple fact that the way that they know how to express it has to be un like has to be received and has to be understood before then they can start expressing love the way the other person does and vice versa so you obviously are ahead of the guy game because i'm telling you so accept the love as it's coming in and don't be so freaking close-minded because i feel like some people are going to be close-minded so like no i want him or her to say a b c and d and if they don't say this then it's it's gone well then sweetie then this is not the video for you because we are talking from soul connections we're talking about what our souls need and what they're trying to push through from people so um for that there's a lot of other readers for that anyways it is about that like are you because unconditional love means loving someone regardless of what they look like what they've done the way they like what they speak how they eat or anything like that and it also means accepting their love in the way that they can give it because not everyone is at that place where they can give unconditional love Let's see if the water has anything for us before we end it. For those of you that, um, I don't feel like it's a big group, but there's a couple of you that um, a lot of people have their opinions as to the connection. Whether you're the cancer, your person is a cancer. Um, this is what I do to my kids when they're talking without thinking. Like if I say something and they react, I'm like, shh. That means sh shut up and think about what you're saying or sh shut up and mind your own business. Some of you have to start taking that position with people because um, letting people influence every single aspect of your life just because needs to stop. So the Oracle um, card came out for you guys. Wait for important information that is the energy that you should be focusing on and important information can come from anywhere it can come from your higher self it can come from a message it can come from a text it can come from something that you be whatever it is however you connect with your higher self so all the naysayers all the people that have their opinions all the people that have all this da, 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 ach, ach, they don't want to do the hand thing because yeah because i can do it to anybody like ach, even to another ach, to an adult um, black out all of that 
black it out because a lot of you are stuck and a lot of you are not receiving what is coming what is meant for you because of the simple fact that you're allowing other people um opinions or views of how your life should be interfere well guys that is all that i have for you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys real soon